Since you've clicked to play this video, you've probably at least thought about copying something off the internet. Is the act of copying really something wrong? Should there be such a thing as an illegal file? Why should it be wrong in the first place, you may ask? The main argument is that it's a form of theft. Taking something that doesn't belong to you, taking someone else's property. But let us now stop and think for a second about what copying really means. It is just copying bytes of information. Since these bytes are digital, they can be reproduced with almost zero cost these days. You are copying something from which you can make an infinite number of copies. You can make a copy for yourself, but the original copy also stays where it is. So not only are you not stealing anything, but you're actually making more of it. Okay, but it could still be argued that you are intercepting money meant for somebody else. That somebody out there actually loses money because of you copying. Of course, this argument is only valid if you can somehow prove that this potential profit actually would have existed. This means you could either travel to a parallel universe and take pictures, or you could bribe some friendly politician. Maybe that could be less of a fuss. Nobody can own something infinite, so you can't really steal it either. So, how can you cause damage with an infinite resource? Copies have been entirely decommercialized, says Rick Falkvinga, founder of the Swedish Pirate Party. People are prepared to pay for work, but making copies is not work anymore. Anybody can do it effortlessly. People copy because they can because it is associated with freedom and because it is in human nature to share. Of course, there's always the fair question about how you, as an author, can benefit and make money off your creations without the aid of copyright or patents. Well, you should first understand that today's laws were never written with the author's best interest in mind. If we look deeper, we would begin to understand that these laws don't actually benefit the author, but only truly help the intermediaries, the guys that feed and live off the authors. We do believe that authors must be supported and encouraged, and we as a society already have better and more efficient ways to do so. But first, maybe we should discard our preconceptions and start building better ways in which we look after the author and the public good with equal measure. We shouldn't try to solve non-existent problems anymore. Instead, we should start addressing the real ones. Copying is a ritual. Copy me. <laughs>